Hey guys, you're now tuned into the Sound of a Crowd podcast. I go by the name of Agent Daniels, and welcome back to the show. Now, this week we are going to continue our A conversation with series, as promised last week, with a young, exciting entrepreneur. But before we get into that, I just wanted to remind you what this series is all about. So, this is the standalone series where we explore the life's journey and celebrate the successes of individuals from a Ghanaian heritage or interest in the short and sweet episodes. Now, Paul Kwesi Folson is this week's guest, and he's a keynote speaker, business consultant, public speaking trainer, leadership coach, and a LinkedIn expert. Now, his leadership qualities have granted him the opportunity of being the president of the largest tertiary private business school in Ghana. That's the Central University Business School. And he was also the chief founder and president of the Central University Public Speaking Club. Now, as a public speaker, he has spoken to hundreds of individuals whether it's masterclasses, boot camps, conferences, you name it. His unique insights on personal branding, leadership, etc. has allowed him to build a following of almost 6,000 plus people on LinkedIn within just a few months, which is incredible. And as a result of all of this, he's gradually becoming a recognized voice and powerhouse on leadership, business and social media in Ghana. Now one word that can describe Park Kwesi Folson is an ever evolving person as he is an ardent believer in lifelong learning and I'm sure I am and I'm sure you guys are too. All right so what we're going to do is now we're going to get into the conversation but before we get into the conversation I also want to let you guys know that this conversation was planned originally to be a pre-recorded recording between myself agent daniels and park wacy folson but unfortunately we weren't able to make it happen due to unforeseen circumstances so what we've done this week is something a little bit different so park wacy has uh shared some answers to some questions i've had for him so what what you're going to hear is um some some audio notes that he submitted in response to some questions that i've asked him so um, you're gonna hear all of this coming up right now and then what we'll do is we will meet you at the end of the conversation thank you so much i hope you guys enjoy it park Wacy, how are you doing and what have you been up to recently Okay, okay. So it's really a pleasure to be on here, I must say. It's really a pleasure to be on here on the Sound of Our Crowd podcast. And yes, I'm doing great, but God's grace. Actually, for the past few days, I've not been doing too well. But God's grace keeps on sustaining me as I'm going about my activities, right? So I'm just really grateful to God that I'm strong, I'm healthy, I'm moving around, I'm being able to breathe at least. And I'm really grateful. And what have I been up to in the past few days, weeks, months? Actually, one of the things that I've been doing, I've been doing quite a lot, actually. But one thing that I always do is that I always create a lot of content. So when I'm free, I just batch produce content, make a lot of carousels, do a lot of things that I'm I'm actually doing. Also, one thing I do is that I love writing. So I'm writing some eBooks and producing something that will be of impact to other people right so that's one thing that i'm doing but most of my time especially this month october and what i've done is that i've spent a lot of time with my community i actually have a community called a ted a day community so in this community basically what we do is that we watch a ted video a day a tedx video a day and then after we're done we discuss what we've learned and i mean it's it's a very great the ambience in the community is great we have people from diverse areas we have people who did um medical science we have tech people we have business people we have so many different people of different age groups as well so i think it's been great and i've spent a lot of time in my community and that's what i've been up to actually in the past few weeks or the past few months so yes it's really really great and i'm doing great by god's grace you've achieved so much yeah you're so young how old are you Okay, so I actually get a lot of people asking me, why are you so young and it seems as though you've achieved a lot? (laughs) And I think it's been purely by the grace of God. But then I don't think I'm where I want to be, but then by God's grace, I've been able to take a few significant steps. And I'm just 22 years old. But then I think what really changed for me is when I understood a very simple concept. And this is a concept that I want to share with everybody. It's called the law of forced efficiency. So the law of forced efficiency 
basically says there's never enough time to do everything, but there's always enough time to do the most important things. So when I learned about this law of forced efficiency, I had to think about what were the most important things to me. So then when I had to think of that, I began to do an introspection on myself and I had I, I began to do an introspection on myself and then I got to figure out what are my strengths and what are my capabilities. And when I found that out, I just decided to play and execute all my capabilities and strengths. So being somebody who I know that I've been, I can lead people and I can influence people to do the right things in the right direction. Of course, I started now taking leadership opportunities. I started seizing every opportunity I could when it came to leadership. I did not let it go. I did not hesitate. I did not think it twice. I just decided to just hold the bull by this horn and just do certain things when it comes to leadership. Also, for example, when it comes to public speaking, I started teaching people how to overcome the fear of public speaking because that's one of my strengths. I've actually been teaching that for about two years now. So when I got to understand myself, then everything began to change. And I got to understand myself as a result of just understanding a simple concept called the law of forced efficiency. And that really changed things for me. Tell us about yourself. Then again, my name is Park Wisifo, and I'm a continental keynote speaker, leadership coach, LinkedIn expert, public speaking trainer, and most of all, I'm a business strategist. So I really, really love businesses, I must say. I must put that on record. I really, really love businesses. I love to diagnose businesses, and that's why I call myself the business strategist, right? So... I love marketing. Marketing is my most favorite part of a business. Why? Because I believe that marketing is the lifeline, is the oxygen of every organization. Without marketing, you cannot get revenue. And without revenue, you cannot run your business, right? So that's why I believe that marketing is very essential to every business. And every entrepreneur, every business person should be able to understand how your business is marketed in order for you to be successful and thrive in your industry, right? So that's why I believe that marketing is the most important part of a business. However, in university, I actually majored in business management, not marketing. And marketing came along the line because I really, I realized that for me to be able to thrive as a business person running my own business, marketing was going to be the change for me. So I had to understand marketing and really have a comprehensive understanding of practical marketing, right? So in the university, I majored in business management, but I got to understand things like supply chain management, operations management. I think it has, yes, it has given me some sound theoretical understanding of businesses. And I think it has helped me navigate my business properly. And I'm really grateful I did that. So marketing is what I love a lot. So my most favorite marketing book, I want to give this to anybody listening to this right now, is called Sell Like Crazy by Sabri Subi. He's an Australian man, an Australian businessman. He's a very, he's a marketing magician, right? So you should read that book. It will change your approach to marketing and change the way you do business. And I think that is it. And so in a nutshell, this is about me when it comes to businesses and all of that. And yeah. Tell us about LinkedIn. Apart from my public speaking ebook series, I actually have ebooks on LinkedIn. Why? Because I love LinkedIn. I really love LinkedIn. LinkedIn is where I build my personal brand. LinkedIn is where you literally see me do a lot of my activities and LinkedIn is literally the best platform for a lot of you, but you just don't know. So I have ebooks on LinkedIn. I have one ebook on how to start your LinkedIn journey. Why? Because when I started LinkedIn, it took me about two or three days just to set up my page, literally, just to find out how to put an appropriate headline, how to optimize my profile, get my experience section straight, get my summary section straight, and all of that. And so far, when I started my LinkedIn journey, within a five-month span, I was able to grow up to a 6,000-plus followership. So I think so far, I've been able to understand the, the platform LinkedIn, get to understand it in a holistic manner that I even coach people on it. So that is the first book that I have on LinkedIn. It's still on my digital store. And everybody who has purchased that book literally set up their page in 30 minutes. So I think it has really helped a lot of people because I did mine in two or three days, right? So also, I have one ebook coming up still on LinkedIn. And it's how to build a personal brand on LinkedIn because it was through my personal brand I was able to get about 6,000 plus followers in a five-month span. So through that book, I'm sure it's going to create a lot of LinkedIn monsters, literally. The Disruptive Leadership Hangout for Leaders Across Africa was held in October 2022. 
and this disrupted the norms and lives we've lived with all along and rewrite a positive narrative in Africa. Tell us more and some of the speakers who featured in this live stream. As a public speaker, I always tell people this. If you're not a part of the solution, then you are definitely part of the problem. There are literally no middle grounds. There are no middle grounds at all, right? <laughs> so if you are not solution oriented, then you are part of the problem. You are 100% a part of the problem. So I haven't been able to speak to so many people, so many individuals. Over the past few months, I've been invited to boot camps, webinars, seminars, masterclasses, conferences, what have you, right? I've been able to see that what, Afri what the African youth needs is that the African youth needs a reorientation in their mental faculties. They need to be able to think differently in order to produce different results for our continent and for our country, right? So, for example, in Ghana, everything is going downhill. When you look at our currency, it's fast depreciating. Everything is downhill. Everything seems to be going wrong and the youth are frustrated. People are stressed. What do we need? We need something called disruptive leadership. And most recently, I got invited to a conference that was themed disruptive leadership. It actually had speakers from Kenya, Rwanda, Liberia, Nigeria, and of course, I represented Ghana and I really spoke extensively on how young leaders can be able to change their mindset, to change things for Africa in order for us to stop doing things the old way, but do things in a very superior way to change things through technology, through other tools that can literally help us. And I really spoke extensively on that. And that, and that conference, I must say, was a mighty one. And it was great. So that's what Africa needs. Africa needs disruptive leaders. We need leaders who are not going to think the old way, who will not be doing things the old way, who are ready to end innovate, who are ready to do things outside their box, who are ready to think both inside the box and outside the box. And that was what that conference was about. So it was great. Tell us about your free volume public speaking ebook series. So actually, yeah, I have a public speaking coaching business where I coach individuals on how to overcome the fear of public speaking. After that, what I do is that I literally show you how you can use your voice to become a powerhouse wherever you may find yourself. So that's what I've been doing for the past two years and I literally find joy doing this. Actually, according to research, about 70% of all formal jobs involve some form of public speaking, right? So... What that means is that public speaking is an essential skill. It may come in handy wherever you may find yourself, whether it be at school, work, church, literally any place. So apart from coaching itself, what I do is that I churn out ebooks. I actually have a three-volume public speaking ebook series. So it literally shows people how to become stars and how to use their voice to influence people and also shows you how to overcome the fear of public speaking by expounding on what causes the fear and all of that so you may want to read it it will literally change your life for all the people who have read it so far i think about a hundred people have bought my public speaking ebook series and each and every person is commenting and testifying on how it has literally changed their perception and changed how they've they've approached public speaking in the past few weeks and finally park are there any announcements that you have for the audience so actually, during my tenure as the president of the largest private business school in Ghana, the Central University Business School Association won the Student Association and Faculty of the Year. So I think that goes to a large extent to show and prove that I am a good leader. I've been able to exhibit my leadership qualities and capabilities and abilities over the past few years and months. And a lot of people have told me that they admire the way I lead and as a result of that, what I do is that I coach a lot of people on leadership. I coach corporations, individuals, student leaders, whatever you may be. Once it's leadership, then you should invite Parkway C. Folson because I'll help you to unearth your leadership potentials. So I'll help you to be able to use leadership to achieve and fulfill any objective that has been set literally so that is what i do i also offer public speaking coaching to anybody who is terrified of public speaking once you encounter me your, your public speaking fear will literally disappear literally i've had so many testimonies and i wouldn't want to share any of them right here but Public speaking is really my terrain. So what I also do is that I help personal brands expand and monetize on LinkedIn. So for any of you that have been looking forward to trying to expand on LinkedIn or using LinkedIn as a field or as your main means of generating income for yourself, then I can literally help you on that journey and I'll be more than glad to help you on that. So 
just follow me on LinkedIn for more updates for events that may be coming up. I will literally be having one event, one more event or a few more events throughout the year. And then next year I'll have a very big event. So just watch out for me and keep on following what I do. And I'll be glad to keep in touch or get to know all of you that are listening to this. Yeah. So remember, if you're not a part of the solution, then you're a part of the problem. So be solution oriented. Adios. My name is Park C. Falls. Hey guys, so what did you guys think of Park C. Falson? Isn't he just a young, talented, full of energy and promising entrepreneur in Ghana? Let me know your thoughts. Drop us an email, info at the Sound of Accra podcast. You can also connect with us online on social media at the Sound of Accra. Just put the Sound of Accra across popular social media platforms. You'll be able to find us. In addition to that, if you're listening on YouTube, please subscribe as we continue to grow this community. Leave a comment and hit the like button. And also, if you're listening on Apple Podcasts or Spotify, a five-star review is very much appreciated. And also hit subscribe on those platforms too. And of course, as usual, you'll be able to find all of our social media links also in the podcast player or the YouTube player description. And you'll find more information about how to get in touch with us as the Sound of Craft podcast. So that's all I have for you guys this week. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll catch you on the next one. Thank you so much.